Hi, this is Art. I'm N0EX. Today I want to talk about radio direction finding, specifically about the NZ1J radio direction finding board. This is designed by Dave, who's NZ1J. He sells the board and the programmed microcontroller to go on it. And what you do is you, uh, you buy that kit from Dave and then you purchase the rest of the parts and populate the board. And this allows you to radio direction finding once you build this uh, antenna array of two vertical dipoles to do some radio direction finding. Dave's kit works very, very well. And you can see his video on YouTube. I'll link to that down below. Um, in fact, I was so intrigued by this uh, device that I uh, had several uh, email conversations with Dave. And I asked him if I could repackage this into a smaller format. And uh, Dave was kind enough to give me permission to do that. So I want to demo today my repackaged version. This is, uh, you use surface mount parts, gotten in a slightly smaller package, and um, all the connectors are on this board. This allows you to essentially move it from on foot use to in vehicle use, or easily change uh, antenna arrays if you wanted to hunt 440 with it, or you know, different frequency, you know, two meters or whatever you hunt with it. So it allows for a quick connection, quick change out um, of, of where you want to use it. So I want to show you a couple of demos about that uh, using this. And then at the end of the video, um, I'm going to add a little bit more about where you can check for availability if you want to buy uh, this kit, which is essentially a completed printed circuit board and you finish off the um, enclosure with some drilling of the holes for the I.O. So let's watch the videos. Hi, this is Art. I'm gonna demo the NZ1J RDF. So what I've got here is I've got the uh, RDF box on the antenna array. Uh, those are hollow fiberglass tubes that have a dipole inside them. Uh, and then I have uh, a headset which I use to monitor the audio. So because the audio also needs to go in the RDF box, I have a little three-way splitter or a, a Y connector on the audio. All right, what you'll see uh, is the LEDs flashing and what they're telling you is if you're pointing at the transmitter or which way to rotate the array to be pointing at the transmitter. So when I'm red or yellow on this side, it's telling me to rotate the array this way. And when I'm in the green, I should be pretty much pointing right at the transmitter. If the lights were on on this side, it would be telling me to rotate the array this way. And as long as you do a little moving when you're rotating, it's really good to be walking. Kind of averages out the reflections and the multipath signals. And you just try and keep walking and keep rotating it into the green. All right, here we are pretty much, uh, you know, 10 yards away from the transmitter or less. And you can see that if I'm way off, it's, it's telling me I'm not pointing at it, but uh, the green again pretty much tells me that I'm pointing right at the transmitter. So you can even be right up on a transmitter and you're going to be able to DF it, unlike, you know, a beam without an attenuator or a mixing attenuator. All right, here we are at a uh, using a transmitter that's uh, slightly farther away. This is the Weather Service transmitter in St. Paul, Minnesota, at 162.55, and uh, I'm just gonna and it's about 20 or 30 miles away. And we'll just take a short little walk here while I rotate, and uh, you can see that it'll flash around a little bit, but I'm gonna keep it in the green. And we get a pretty good indication that the transmitter is pretty much straight north of me, which is where it's at. All right, there's a couple of little quick demonstration using uh, Dave's NZ1J RDF. Again, it's, it's Dave's design and Dave's firmware, and I just repackaged my version. So uh, I encourage you to uh, go look for Dave's video. Uh, he demonstrates it. He talks more about it. And uh, if you want to... Uh, build your own uh, using Dave's kit. That's great. Um, my guess is they're, as of the date of this video, they're probably still available. And uh, if you want to check, if you're interested in essentially the completed printed circuit board in the, this package, 
uh, go to myqrz.com webpage. Uh, so qrz.com and type in N0EX, and that's the best place to look for availability of, of this unit and, and the cost. And uh, if you have any other questions, I'll, uh, I can uh, take your email uh, that you can find on that site. So thanks for watching. Watch Dave's video. And, uh, you know, if you got questions or comments, uh, you know, comment below, uh, like, share, again, whatever all you YouTube people like to do. So thanks for watching.